Sometimes I feel like a PJ Masks kid when I put this on. Yeah, because I'm not used to myself That's with glasses. It is a, it's an amazing show. It's like Bluey. I mean, it might have baby show status, but it has incredible messages for all ages. Oh, I'm not so embarrassing. Um, that's normal as a mom to a kid. So, where is I going with this one? Nicole. Oh, I remember what I was going to talk about um, is the antibodies. So I was working on a hard case, practicing. Some donor who um, they couldn't figure out, they could not phenotype this red blood. And, like, nobody knew why. And when we started um, working with it, it was just, like, panagglutination all over the place. So you couldn't figure out anything. There was no pattern to follow. And I kept working on it, kept working on it, kept working on it because we had a lot of it. And it'd be in the fridge, and then you'd take it out. It had some weird stuff at the bottom of it. Probably about, like, the third time I worked on it, fourth time I worked on it, I was like, you guys, this person has um, cryoglobulinemia. That's why we can't figure anything out. Every time we go and put their blood in the fridge, it just agglutinates because they have way too many cryoglobulins in their blood. So one, you know, we're storing it incorrectly to study it. <laughs> Two, it's not as complicated as we think. Um, three, this person has a serious problem. They shouldn't even be a donor, for real. And four, I only knew that because of a troubleshooting moment that one of my supervisors in immunology took the time to show me. As he was pulling samples out of the fridge, he was like, do you see this one? Do you see the white stuff at the bottom of the vial? Cryoglobulins, okay? That's what that is. That's important. You need to know that. So I don't know the quality of training other people have in their departments, but you know, for none of my trainers to see that and then for me to see it and re remember it, recognize it, like the third time I actually worked on it, that's kind of scary. Got to train some of these basic things more. So that's what I intend to do is talk about science in these ways.